welcome back to the Zach and Buzz review. review. Okay, so what are we reviewing today? Well, we're reviewing something which uh, is an item that is kind of new to us. This particular model. Mm, you have one. I do. I have. Shall I say what I have? Yes. I have the Night Fox Red, and I've been using it this season. And when I say season, I mean bat season. So because, what is what is a Night Fox Red? Well, it's a night vision set of goggles mm -hmm. but it's also a camera it's a camera stroke goggles mm -hmm. but at an affordable price and um, to put it in perspective we are bat surveyors mm -hmm. sub subcontract sub for uh, an ecology company uh, or whoever and we are also at Zach Wild Productions uh, we are digital information technicians which, which means is a DIT DIT which means we get footage in from surveying and we then scrub through that and take out all the bits where we have bat emergencies and um, re-entries and things like that swarmings and all the rest of it and so if, all the bits of information yeah, that, you that need, are really key yeah. to bat surveying yeah so that's that's what we do mm -hmm. uh, so if you are out there listening to this and you kind of need that service get con in contact contact that well productions anyway we're here to unbox this these Sorry. these have become very, very hard to acquire. They are very much like, And what it is... Yeah, very much like hen's teeth, you could say. ...is the Night Fox Whisker. Whisker. Yeah, so I've been product testing the red, mm -hmm. and I've been very impressed with the red yes. over this yes. bat season. Mm -hmm. And everybody... Everybody... ...has been trying to get hold of the whiskers. Yes, and thankfully, we had a bit of trouble actually we getting, We're, getting uh, this. After two or three attempts. <laughs> two I mean, <laughs> Night Fox. Okay, Night Fox, if you're watching this, you are brilliant. Mm, and you thank you very much and for you dealing been, with all our problems. Yeah, yeah, you've been brilliant all the way through. You've helped me out with things, uh, queries on the red. Mm -hmm. And when we've been trying to walk, order the whisker, you've been obviously very good in keeping us up to date. Yes. So uh, this was actually a special import. Yeah, just recently, Night mm. Fox put up on their website Can that they, they were... Cutting tool? Oh, cutting tool. Yeah, there you go. Uh, they put up on their website that they were bringing a batch in from, I think it was the States. Yes. Um, so to purchase that, there was a there was an import fee. So the price... I mean, considering how desirable it is, I was absolutely fine with that. Yeah, the price we paid was... £164.99. And we actually bought two because mm -hmm. there's more than us that do the bat surveying at uh, Zatwell Productions. And so we're looking forward to putting this whisker little, little puppy through his paces. Test. Yeah. So what do we got in the box? Uh, it's just a box. Okay, well, but we have box. got a special deluxe carry case right, for Ziggoggles. There we go. Just put that. Mm, there we go. Fine. Okay. So let's go yeah. for the unzip. Now I, I've got this. I already like this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because, because it didn't need to include the carry case. I didn't know it, when I got my red. Mm. I didn't know that it had this kind of toughened carry case. So I was very impressed with that. The difference between this and the red, though, yeah. is that the red, the zip, is exactly half and half. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which meant that every time I was getting it out my bag, especially on dawns in the dark, you'd unzip it yeah. and open it up, mm -hmm. and it was pot luck whether you had the uh, had it upside down or not. Mm -hmm. you know? So I stuck a sticker on the top. So I now get it open every time. But that one, the zip's at the top. So you're never going to open it upside down, are you? No, definitely not. What is in here? Let's have Lots a look. Lots of bits and pieces. Okay, we have, uh, well, that's a USB card reader. That's handy. Did, did your red come with that? I had no card reader with the red. <laughs> so this means you can take your little micro SD card. Which it comes with. Which it comes with a 32 gig there, a 32 yep. gigabyte. Um, Pop that in there, stick it in your computer, and read it straight. Ready to go Ready to for go. all that DIT work. I also notice in here there is a little reset pin. Okay. Oh, that, so that's kind of like what you get on phones. It's like what you get on phones. Sometimes, if you've ever had a mobile phone, and sometimes there's a little tool that comes with it. Uh, it's usually used for popping the uh, slide out for the. SD card and the SIM oh, card, right, yeah. uh, but I would believe that that one is probably a reset one for this. Got a little cleaning cloth. Oh, cleaning handy. cloths again. I didn't get one with the red. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we got we got a cable. What's the cable for? Do you know what the cable? Cable. That's that's basically obviously a charging cable. Mm -hmm. uh, but I know that with the red and with this model, you can plug them into an external battery so that they very, continue very nice. to. Because that's the problem. Um, with some of the models, their battery life isn't very long. Uh -huh. uh, so isn't that the case with the Corsac? The Corsac. I don't think you can externally plug the Corsac in. So it's like limited to yeah. how long it'll But uh, that's why I plumped for the red initially, because you couldn't get the whiskers. Yeah, and, and 
just, just going back to when I was looking to purchase one, I was originally going to go for the Volps. And when I finally had enough money for that, it went out of stock. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, uh, but the thing was with the Red, the Red is a, a, a helmet. It comes with a, a, with a, a headband. Yeah. But you could be hands free with it. Literally, it's goggles that sit in front of your face. Yeah. Um, but what a lot of people have done is they've mounted them on tactical helmets, and then on the back of the helmet, you stick mm -hmm. a battery pack, connect your lead to the red, to the battery pack, and then you can run it, and it just keeps on running, never, no, always topping its battery up, never running out. Okay. Uh, and I believe that you can do the same with this. So, strap. Strap. Obviously, so if you have it around your neck, mm -hmm. then you can have it easy, easy use. That's yeah. cool. Although, Did yours come with that? It came with a much, I'd say, a more luxury strap. Oh, a luxury it, it, strap. A luxury strap. It's padded and it's wider. But mm. what I will say with the strap on mine, is on the red, is that it's got uh, fabric ties on the end. Ah. Yeah, a bit like, you know when you get the lanyards? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. This, these metal clips. That kind of sounds batty. Yeah, it sounds batty, but I'm just thinking you're going to pick that, uh, pick that up on the video, aren't you? Yeah, yeah if, 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 if it jiggles. If it jiggles at all. Our normal setup would include tripods, so yeah, we don't so necessarily need this, that. but we can use it for just general use. Well, I've got to say, what's going to be handy with that, and I've done this with the red. Mm -hmm. um, red's slightly different because because it's, it's top-mounted. It yeah. doesn't have a, a, sh a shoe mount underneath. Well... We, we keep talking about the red, yeah. Yeah, I know. so I, I we, just... we can come back to the red in a future video. Yeah, Maybe know. do a cross comparison, that'd I know, be good. I know what you say. I was just going to say about the the, the, cam the the actual neck strap. Yeah. The thing is, with the neck strap, if you keep it on the camera, uh -huh. with this, this has an undermount, doesn't it? Yes, so you can whereas it, yours don't, doesn't it? Doesn't. It's, it's, but it it's does not. mean that you can pop it off of your tripod mm -hmm. if you need to go into a barn or somewhere yeah. and have a look around, yeah. and then go straight back and put really it back easy, on the yeah. tripod. So that's all I was saying. It's, it's handy to keep the strap on. Instruction it. manual. <laughs> Instruction manual. Yeah. Well, we've got two of these, and we've all, we, we kind of know our way we, around them. A little bit, a little bit. Yeah. The big unveil. Woo! Da, 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 da. Look at that wee beastie. It looks like something out of Star Wars. I love it. It does. <laughs> you could just see Luke Skywalker on Tatooine, you know. Yeah. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Yeah. Just need the heads up display sort of looking that way. Right. Like something out of Commando. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> where it's got loads of stuff on it and you don't, that's really do it. <laughs> it's just arrows, arrows. In which direction? Which right. direction? Right, okay, how do we turn it on? Well, uh, you've obviously got uh, protective covers. Uh -huh. I guess I should do the peel. Yeah, do the peel, remove the. Oh, it comes, it's coming off. Save at the moment. It's coming off the screen. And that's the stuff. That's, one. that's the stuff. Yeah. Everybody knows that when they're peeling off the protective cover of their new mobile phone. Number okay. Two. two. That's off the lens, Very camera nice. lens. And then we have the IR light, torch, uh, beam, okay. whatever you want to call it. Yeah, okay. So one of these is the camera. camera. That's on this side. And then the other is the IR. And you've got a dial on this side for the IR, which basically, so if you're familiar with IR torches, mm -hmm. normally the front, So infrared, yeah. Yeah, for the infrared torches, uh, you can just twist or pull them back the front of the torch mm -hmm. and it'll narrow the beam mm -hmm. or widen the beam. And that's basically what that does. Okay. Okay. Uh, Again, it's got, it's got a few buttons, so five, maybe five we should buttons. try turning uh, it on. The, well, I was going to point out what's on the other side. You've so got, on the other side, we've got... Optical zoom. Optical zoom and a focus wheel. Yeah, so the focus wheel, again, when you're there, you want to focus it in, go blurred one way, go blurred the other way, and then just get the mm. more precise. So what focus. I must kind of commend about this is the fact that it's actually very compact. Can I? Because I, I wasn't expecting it's got a bit it, of weight to that. I wasn't expecting it to be as small as it is, but that's not a bad thing. This actually, I'd say this weighs more than the red. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. Uh, well, yeah, but it's, it's nice, it's nice, yeah, yeah. very tactile. Interesting bit of kit, I'm yeah. I'm really excited to, to turn it on. Yeah, the um, the eye guard isn't as big as mm. the red, the red tends to wrap around more. Yeah, okay, but, right, let's go for the arm. Okay, so hold it. Is it. Do I have to hold it down? Push it and hold it down, okay. and then it uh, should have Night Fox come up. It does. Bingo, it does. there you go. Aha, uh -huh. so I'm seeing the camera right now. Yep. But it needs some focusing, so let's go for that. Ooh, wrong way. Okay, so I find that the the minimal buttons, which is good, because you 
in the dark especially you need to work your way around the buttons without having to keep looking at them and referring perfect. to them perfect i've zoomed right into the the camera lens so hello everyone watching this video <laughs> now i'd focus that in really nicely what i must say again going back to the red again well it's because we're bouncing off yeah is lot. the fact that i found it a bit tricky to focus in yeah no, that's an interesting on the red whereas this i picked it up like straight away instant yeah 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 and again uh, focus wheel at the back all right mm. it, it's very user friendly that focus wheel i think because some focus wheels yeah. can be very kind of like very precise. Clear, very clear picture on. Uh, I'm going to, uh, again, it's one of those things. I think I'm not the only person that's come up with this issue. Um, because you've got the display lens is a couple of inches away from your eyes. Okay. It's a bit like reading a book. Mm -hmm. They're not, they don't work in the same way as a pair of binoculars. Where you put the binoculars up to your eyes, focus in on a point and then do the adjustment so you get your vision perfect. The, it's more like reading a book. So if you <laughs> looking at me, so if you're read, if you're reading a book and you're somebody like me who needs reading glasses, yep. if the book is here, mm -hmm. which is like looking at the screen on one of these, yep. it's only if it's here, it's it's blurred. Or, or it's not blurred, but it depends on your eyesight. But it's even when you've got it perfectly focused, you can't focus it without putting your reading. I mean, glasses I'm on. holding this at arm's length, and I'm the picture quality is amazing yeah but what i found was mm -hmm. once I, I i'd got that kind of yeah i think it's i think it's focused fine yeah when i then looked at the video back it was perfect mm. you know so okay. it's kind of I, I think depending on whether you wear reading glasses or not you might need to pop your glasses bit on of practice, bit of practice put your glasses maybe. on just to get that that focus yeah i mean we're familiar with cameras so yeah, it's, I mean, it's pretty easy to pick up yeah so at the moment it's in color Yep. So the main reason for this is the night vision feature. Yep. How do we change it from recording in in colour? Right. Well, first of all, I think uh, you've got an icon up in the top top oh, corner. What is okay. that icon? That is a camera. Okay. Well, a, a photo okay. camera. So it's a photo camera. So you've got five buttons on the front mm -hmm. here. Okay. And the central button would then, if you press that, it will take a photo. Well, the SD card isn't in it, so it won't no, save it. Won't it. Take a photo. <laughs> if you want to uh, switch it over to video, okay, a back down. Here. Yep. So you've got your on button uh, and you've got a mode button here at the mm -hmm. opposite end. So you scroll through the modes. Okay, scroll through the modes. And that icon should change to a video uh -huh. camera. So the icon has changed to FHD, so full HD, and it is on a video camera. There you go, as simple as that. If you push it again, that's playback and it has no image. It's got no image. It's, it's, it's brand new. blue screen. Blue screen, no, no image. image. So that would be full battery, by the way. Yeah, full let's battery. just come with the full. That, that's we have, cool. Let's come out the box. Straight out the box. Um, so and then if you press it again, yeah, it's back to back, photo. Back, back to photo and back to camera. And then back to camera. And out of interest, if you just press and hold that, mm -hmm. does it go to the menu screen? Wow. Okay. okay There's so a lot of stuff. If you in press there. and hold the mode button, you should then go to your date and time. Okay, so that's always useful for batting. So you would then use the two inner buttons, the up and down buttons, to scroll through. Movie size. Okay. Okay. So the options on here, if I just read them out, you've got resolution at the top, movie size, mm -hmm. date and time, LCD backlight, yep. exposure, contrast, timestamp frequency, power save, format SD card, and default settings. Exactly. Now, again, I'm going to go back to the fact I've used the red a lot. The function is slightly different on the red. Software update as Software well. Update. Version. Yeah, but what, yeah. I, okay, that's it. what I will say is that you want to be able to easily access the menu system so that you know um, how to format mm. your, format your card because you're yeah. there, you might be doing a survey, you've got half a dozen SD cards that are in your uh, SD card holder and uh, you pull one out it's got stuff on it and it's full and you just want to delete it so you need to kind of know you're really around. impressed with this this is awesome but again you're gonna to have to play with the settings I, yeah I, I wouldn't suggest getting this and literally go and if, if you had no experience with them before yeah, don't go and use it on a survey like straight out of the box straight out of the box definitely yeah. get used to it definitely spend an it. evening in your garden wherever and guess what we're doing tonight <laughs> and just get get your preferred settings set up on that menu system. So, how do I change it to IR? Right. So, what mode are you in at the moment? I'm currently in video camera mode. Okay. So, when you had it in the uh, menu system, mm -hmm. how did you get out of that? I just press mode again. Yeah, and then come out. Yeah. So, if you want to go to IR, I believe mm -hmm. on this one, it's the first 
arrow button, which is near the front of the camera, yep. if you push that once, I R. It's going black and white here. So what happens if I go press that button again? Should go back. No, ah, it's changed. It's changing the I R levels. Right. So okay, scrolling through the levels. Okay. So that's okay. Okay, now it's gone back. Okay. Okay. Uh, cool. you, uh, so what is it back on IR? No, it's back on on color. Oh, well, there you go. So you're just scrolling through. So it's just a case of getting used to the buttons. Yeah. Okay. So okay. what 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 else does it like do? I was saying it takes photos, video. Uh, you can use it very much. Was it there, there was like a bright a brightness setting? Is that the one in the corner? I think you'll find that that's to do with the, uh, the actual IR light itself, which we can't really show you on this unboxing. Okay, interesting. Interesting, but what we we intend to do. So I can just play with this yeah. for hours. What we intend to do is to uh, give this a field test, and we'll mm -hmm. put some uh, test footage up and yeah. do a full, yeah. full, full product full test, product review on this one. I will probably we probably come back and do a product review on the red as well. To be yeah. honest, oh. versus versus that would be cool. I th the functionality I can already tell you is there's, there's big differences between the two. I mean, they've been designed shape as well. They've been designed. Yeah differently well this one is specifically designed for bats that yeah. is in mind um, I with the red I've been very impressed with with its uh, uh, what, 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 uh, what's the word I'm looking for yeah the width of the image field of vision field thank you so the field of vision um, on the red if you are set in a garden wherever and you're looking at a building you can get pretty much without any effort the majority of the building in uh, this one's actually got a wider field of vision. Yes, it so does. I'd expect, it does. I'd expect that to be the. Okay, I've I've turned it off now, just because, if I keep looking through it, then I'm gonna just spend the entire video right. <laughs> looking at so, it. So, I don't suppose I've, I think I think uh, I think they actually retail around about 150 pounds, don't they? Uh, I think if it wasn't the fact that we imported it from America. It would have been around the hundred and forty-nine yeah, pounds so, mark. So one hundred and fifty. Um, oh, at the moment, Night Fox. I don't know if they still are doing on their website mm -hmm. uh, the slightly more expensive one because they've obviously imported them. So there's that import fee, and that was one sixty-four. One sixty-four ninety-nine. One sixty-four ninety-nine. And there you go. You've got. What's that thing on the Night Fox website? You have to sign up to a newsletter to get a five percent discount. Oh yeah. So if we you, would definitely recommend yeah. you doing that. Definitely recommend that. So if you go onto the Night Fox website, sign up for the newsletter, mm -hmm. you'll get a special code which will give yep. you a discount. And as I say, I've dealt with the Night Fox on their uh, customer services, and they were brilliant. So I tell you what, just to just to round this up, why don't we just put it all back in the case? Thank you, Dukes. Make sure it all fits. There we go. There we are. Don't forget your instructions. Oh, ju just in case. Yeah. Just in case. There you go. There yeah, I think it takes uh, about four hours if it's to, to fully charge, if it needs fully charging. Yep. I say I run my red off an external battery bank anyway. Boom. Um, one other thing I want to say with Sorted. this. Sorted. And we'll probably cover this in the product review. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'd be interested to see how the IR light works on this mm -hmm. one. Is with the red, it depends on the property, it depends on the light levels, whether or not you've got a complete um, clear sky or whether you've got a complete, you know, cloud, clouded sky. <clears throat> but we normally put extra IR panels up. Yeah. To yeah. light to light the area, and because of the way that the red is designed, I don't know if that's going to be the same as this. Mm, but it's going to be really interesting to find you, out. You kind of have to keep having a quick look through. Just because, in case. Because you can find as the light levels change, mm -hmm. the IR panels can start to wash out the picture. Ah, and okay. And you, especially if you're looking at key yeah, details yeah, on the so, building, you do want yeah, to have so, that detail. So you can, you know, if, you, like, if you've got a house that's painted white, it, it really does kick back. Mm -hmm. uh, so you need to like, then move your IR panel out of the way or even switch it off. Mm -hmm. um, and but the but the red has got two IR lights on it, so yeah. you get like two. You know, a much clear, this has got the one. So I'll be interested to see how much uh, coverage that that IR has compared yeah. to the red. So yeah. to, to sum up, so this is probably one of the best budget friendly night vision cameras you can get. Yeah, and uh, all the bat surveyors, all our fellow bat surveyors out there, seem to be going for them. Go for it. Um, get it yeah. now. 
you know I know a lot of you uh, use other cameras as well so like the Canon XA range that's one of my favorites to use as well definitely worth but, the investment but, uh, these 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 are good very intuitive very yeah. very user friendly which yeah. is nice so there we go the night fox whisker awesome yeah lovely bit of kit if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe to the channel and comment below any suggestions of further reviews you'd like to see see you in the next one